So um, let, let's first define the term function proteomics. Uh, the term encapsulates the notion that proteins have a biological function and that this biological function is uh, dependent on a number of attributes to proteins. That's of course, primarily the sequence, but then also how proteins fold up in 3D space, uh, how they're modified, with whom they interact and so on. And mass spectrometry has the unique capability of extracting from proteins on a proteome-wide scale, or at least on a, on, 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 in parallel on a large number of, of proteins, many of these attributes. So it can, for instance, measure which protein is present, which protein is modified, at what site, with whom is that protein interacting, uh, is, the, is the shape of the protein changing under certain conditions, and these are all functionally highly relevant pieces of information. There is no other technique that can measure all these attributes as in, a, in, a, in a manner that is as versatile as mass spectrometry. So generally we, we can say mass spectrometry is one big area of techniques. It's, it's, a, it's an, a, a mass spectrometry course is a measurement, but how this measurement is applied um, depends on the intent of the project and the intent of the of the analysis, and there's a wide range of analytical methods. And then the other big category is affinity-based measurements where someone would make a specific reagent, an antibody or similar to a particular protein. And this um, clearly is more difficult to do on a large scale for measuring all these different attributes of proteins than with mass spectrometry, which is a very versatile and fast method. 